teaching us how to make polymer clay jewelry. At the end of this class, hopefully you'll be inspired to create your very own jewelries instead of buying them. Yeah, polymer clays are so cheap and so cute once they're made. You can get them at the bookstores or craft stores. So guys, have you decided what character are going to make? I'm going to be making bees, honeycombs, and flowers. I'm going to be making the cutest strawberry cow. Okay, choose your colors. Cows are mostly white, so I'll start with white. Then I'll use some pink since this is a strawberry cow. I'll also use green, yellow, and a few red. I'll start with yellow. Black for the stripes. Some pink and white as well. Great! Now I'm going to teach you how to make a shaker polymer pendant. So get the main color of your character about this size and massage it with your warm hands. This will be soften the polymer clay making it easier to work with. Now we form an egg shape like this. Next we're going to use this ball tool to make a hole just below this egg. For the nose of my cow, I'm going to use these two shades of pink. I'll get a piece here and a bigger one here. Mix this together. Okay, now I'm going to start shaping the nose. This is nice. I'll place it right here. So now I'll add the other details of my cow's face. Now I'm going to make the ears using a mixture of brown, pink, and red to make a maroon colored place. One ear will be maroon and the other one will be white. First I roll it, fold it like this, and that's it for the ears. Very easy. Looks a bit like a piggy right now, but after I add the horn, it's going to look more like a cow. Now I'm going to make the horns with the yellow clay. I'll add a bit of cornstarch because this yellow is too oily. This will make it a lot cuter, I hope. I just have to shape it like a triangle. Next, let's make the spots. So I made five spots. Two at the back and three for the front. Let's finish this off with two little eyes. I'm making a bee pendant, so I need to roll my black clay very thin to make the stripe of my bee. Now that's done. I'll make the little sting. Then add the eyes and the antennas. For the wings, you just need to cut two circles and put them on the back of the bee. I'm done with my bee. Now I'm going to make the beehive. 
making beehive is super easy. You just need a coil to play like this. I'm adding a pink heart to make it cuter. All done. Wow, look at all the jewelry we made! It took us two hours to make. Now let's put the hooks. There. Let me just get one and place it on top of my bee. We have to put these little hooks on all the jewelry we made so that we can wear them. Great job guys! Now I'm going to bake this for 20 minutes. Callie, our jewelries are ready! Wait for it to cool down before touching them. We only bake them for 20 minutes and they're hard as plastic. They're so hard like real jewelry. Now it's time to decorate with diamonds. Now we seal it with some hard plastic. We got it from a toy packaging. First, let me trace around this hole using this whiteboard marker. Then I'm going to cut out this circle. Let's erase the marker now. Now I'm going to ask a grown-up's help to seal this. Let me help you guys seal your hair pendants. I'm going to use this UV resin as glue, gluing just the outline of this hole. Next, fill up the hole with the baby oil. Let's cover it. Now it's time to cure under the UV lamp. Don't forget to ask a grown-up's help! Yeah, make sure! Mm -hmm. We let it dry there for 30 seconds. So be patient. I'll brush UV resin all over this bee to make it shiny pendant. One last time inside the UV lamp and it's done! These small cows will be my earrings. So cute, right? But look at all our jewelry! Wow, aren't they so pretty, guys? I can't believe making jewelry is so easy and fun!